Nice. All right. So today we'll be talking about these Rawlings synthetic trainers that I got from Blades Canada. I only have the one here because I don't really need two for one video. Talk about one, you're talking about the other because they're... Well, let's face it, they're both the same sword, basically. So, um, if you don't want to stick around for the whole review, I'm just going to say these things are pretty great. I really like them. I haven't had any major issues with them. And I got two of them. Two of them from Blades Canada, or Warriors and Wonders, I think it's called, as Scaliger might have mentioned in one of his other videos. I'm, I think he did at one point. These shipped, both of them, for 244 Canadian. That's also two a Canadian address, so I don't know what that would be in American dollars. But, let's start off with the pros. So, these things are pretty great. They're lightweight, and they don't hurt to get hit by that much, I find. I've been hit by them multiple times, obviously. I've used them. But they don't hurt that much. I got hit in the fingers. Unprotected fingers, and it didn't hurt too much. I've hit people, and I've been like, oh, are you okay? That must have really hurt, and no, it's fine. The only place it really gets hurt to hit by is around here, because that's where the vibrational node is, and that's where it doesn't bend when you hit someone with it. Now, these things also, just as I just mentioned, they do like to bend. So, they're pretty good for thrusting, although I would not recommend thrusting if you're not wearing a fencing mask and or gambeson. Thrusting in general if your face is unprotected. Actually, HEMA in general is a bad idea, really, if you're not wearing a fencing mask. But, you know, watch a couple of scars. So, they're lightweight, around two and two and a half pounds. Or just under one kilo, I think, if you use a metric system. Point of balance, hang on. I had it earlier. Where'd it go? There. About, come on, there. That's not bad. There's still quite a lot of blade left, as you can see. So it is pretty close to the hilt. Now, maybe I just don't have a lot of experience with using actual swords, because let's face it, I don't own any real swords. I can't, I can't afford any, but if I could buy an Albion, something like the Neck Messer, God, I would love the Neck Messer. So I don't have any real experience with real swords. But these feel pretty well balanced to me. They feel like they handle pretty well and are quite nimble. And, like I said, they, they flex pretty well, so they are... They're safe. Like, Rawlings has been criticized for maybe being too safe with their synthetic trainers, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, because if you can't afford a lot of padding, like me, then these things are probably your best bet. Some people don't like how much they flex, because when you hit the other sword, you know, they bend. But that just means that... You're not going to seriously hurt the person unless you like half sword or murder stroke them in the face Because that would hurt. Let's be honest here. Although generally in most HEMA classes or most SCA classes murder stroking is You're not allowed to do it. It's prohibited So good things lightweight doesn't get hurt to get hit by I mean it also depends on how hard the person hits you um, when I spar with my friends they don't hit that hard because we know that it just needs to be a cut that's like, yeah, okay, I felt that. So we're not going all out. And we don't have padding, so that's another thing. I find they're well balanced and they're nimble. But again, I don't have as much experience with swords as someone like Scal Gladiatoria probably does. I would recommend checking him out too. So the grip is made, well, the, the grip and the hilt in general is all... This is plastic. I'm not exactly sure what kind. I couldn't find that on the website. Rubber and plastic. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but the hilt does wiggle just a little bit. The guard is just a little too big. So to fix that, I put some cardboard shims in there. It's still not perfect, but it's, you know, I can't really complain for the price. Uh, if the lighting was better, you could see the mold line along the handle here, but that's not a big deal either. Uh, for any other Scaligrim fans, you can unscrew the pommel, and you can throw it at people, but I would not recommend doing that, because ending people rightly like that is a bad and dangerous idea, which, it, that means it's gotta be fun, right? So, overall, I'm pretty happy with these. I think, for one of them, it's 104 on Warriors and Wonders, or Blades Canada. I usually just search for Blades Canada. They have a lot of stuff, mostly knives, but if you like knives and live in Canada, like me, then, then uh, check them out. They also have a lot of Benchmade stuff. God, I wish I could afford Benchmade. So, 
if you are looking for some good synthetic trainers, I would definitely recommend getting a couple of these, because they work well for me, and they work well for the other people that I've used them against. <laughs> so definitely pick up a couple of these if you're looking for some some good synthetic trainers that aren't going to break your bank, because I think these personally are pretty damn good. Let's just hit the off button there.